conscience I'm supposed to Yet all I do is bluff and cheat Better save my thoughts for later Life is always bittersweet I've traveled through this world a million times before And every path I cross I know what lies in store And even though I know my heart is on the beat Life is always bittersweet Alright, welcome back. Good to see you all here. I can tell we're already going to have to throw it into mom. So good to see everybody here and thank you very much for your patience, kindness, and wonderfulness in the uh, chat. Fantastic to have you all here. Welcome. Well, we got shut down early on that one. Wow. Ah, we'll continue building our city from a couple of days ago. Hi there, Zoran. What's up, Anastasia? Alloy, good to see you here. Sir Purple, how you doing? Officer 400, good to see you. Welcome. What did you miss? Nothing. We're just getting started. You must have turned on the notification bell after subscribing. That's why you have a big brain in chat. Yo, I'm thinking about uh, playing some new stuff tonight. I really actually have enjoyed the uh, kind of all the games we've been playing lately, both in simulator and builder games. I think I want to go back to play some more simulators, so I think I'll play... An oldie but a goodie that you guys may have not seen before. I got tons of keys to stuff that I've been playing around the week, so... I got some ideas. I got some ideas. I really like the business management games we've been playing lately, so we'll definitely play some more of that. Yo, thanks for the insta-hundo. We'll uh, try... Uh, turning off members only in maybe, maybe an hour or so. We'll see if uh, everybody can handle it. Alright, let's jump back in. To Transport Fever 2, a very stealthy uh, city builder game. You just don't know how good this game actually is. In terms of uh, being a city builder. Alright, where were we? Let's see. Oh, we got to load a map, actually. But we got to load a game. There it is. There we go. Seth, welcome back as a raptor egg. Thanks to you for being here. Ooh, look at how cool that looks. Damn. I don't think I've seen that screenshot before. Yeah, this game is definitely a stealth city builder for sure. There's a lot more focus on this game and of mass transit, like seaports, international airports, bus, train, and all that stuff. But there's still plenty of city building you can do in customizing cities. It's crazy. New record for mom? No. But I didn't want to get off to that kind of start. I think we just got to start, like, just get just axing that. Like, if there's any sort of level of entitlement like that, just ban. Because that's not what this community is about. It's not about arm folding. It's not about judging people's ability or inability or uh, demanding things from people and insulting people if they don't give you what you want. It's about being patient and just... Hanging out, chilling. That's what games are about, man. You want to be co uh, competitive, go play Call of Duty. Don't worry about your KDR. And if you if you die once, you have to sell your system because there's no excuse for that. You should not be dying in a video game. Unacceptable. Step up to my standards. What's up, Jerry Orange? How you doing? Hello, this is Jerry. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hello, Jerry. Fork and knife. Jerry's hungry. I like it. Hey, what's up, uh... Hi, 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 Tial, This is Jerry. Yes, it is. Work and knife. No, it's very, it's very few non-members who are who are like that. But YouTube needs to have a mode where I, I suspect what a lot of this is is people just clicking on the video who aren't even subbed and just kind of come in with a negative attitude. 
Most subscribers are very kind, but there's no way to control. You know, Twitch has a, a mode where, you know, you have to be like a, a follower for at least a little while. I mean, I'd like it to at least be like five minutes. Like, subscriber only chat, and you at least have to be sub for like five minutes. It'll just eliminate like a bunch of spoilers and stuff. Ah, you're enjoying Frostfall so far? Oh, you mean Cryofall. Yes, I'll probably be playing more of that pretty soon, too. All right, well, let's get all that bad energy out, and let's focus on building a beautiful, beautiful city. It's not only one city that we're going to build, but actually multiple cities. And we're in the map editor of uh, Transport Fever 2, where there's a lot of stuff we can do. So we've been building iron ore mines, and we've been building stone mines, and trying to build some cool industries. And I was not thinking I was going to come back to this one, but I definitely... Uh, wanted to. I haven't been playing enough city... B I've been playing a lot of simulators, but now I want to go back to management games. So, like, this one and maybe we'll do, like, a factory management game. I have quite a quite a few access to quite a few games, so we'll see. Alright, so we were thinking about doing a lot of stuff here in this game. Yo! Commander X56. Thank you. How am I doing? I'm good now. I'm good. I'm glad to be back to this. I gotta figure out how to lay out my cities and stuff. Um, some of our cities are going to require, oh yeah, Topeka, for example, requires tools and like fuel. Yeah, it'd be cool if we made both of these cities require fuel. But we need to do machine parts now. And that requires wood to make tools. Oh, and machines too. Okay, maybe we should make two. Actually, I think we're going to make Antioch require, ah, oh, goods too. We'll have to make some more cities along the way so that way we can get more requirements. Because we want to have How you tools. Today? Yeah, pretty good. Thank you. We're going to need machine parts, tools, and plastics. That's going to be interesting. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We wanted to build a train line, too, but we have to go into the full game for that. Right now, we're kind of in the editor. So we're laying out, like, rivers and stuff, too. I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want to get things started here. Oh, we wanted to build, like, a, uh... We wanted to build, like, a ore uh, an oil refinery. Maybe we could build a city on the coast. Yeah, we'll build a city on the coast. This requires plastic and metal to make goods. So we need to build a steel mill somewhere, too. Oh, we need to build a coal mine. Maybe we should do the coal mine first. Maybe building it up here would be a good idea. Yeah, we should build a coal mine right here. This will be cool. I bet the coal mines are pretty large. Oh, thank you, Alex, for the five. Okay, yeah, let's try to build a coal mine here. See how big it goes. Oof, that's pretty big. Oh, I like this, though. Oh, that's actually a good fit right there. Wow, that's actually a perfect fit. Wow, so much support today. Thank you. Best channel for gaming. Oh, look at these mountains here. Maybe we should make some mountains behind that. Oh, it flattens out behind it. We'll try to make it look like it blends in a little bit. Although it's still going to look a little square, but that's okay. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for the 10. And Mama, or Marna. Marna, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome. Holy crap, overlapping support. The game needs a salt mine. 
It would be cool if they added more stuff. Positive energy. Yeah, positive energy. All right. There's an update coming to this game in uh, June, I think. They said it's the summer update, but maybe it'll come out in May or something. It could be released soon, but an update for the summer. And it's going to add like more stuff for trucks and sounds and stuff, so that's going to be kind of cool. I think they need to release some big DLCs for this game. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Now we just need to build a... Probably a highway to get back here? Or we could do a train. But I think we should still connect it via road. I'll do one of these roads. Yeah, so first, if we're if we're going to build some big cities, we got to connect all these like external industries to the cities, so that way people have jobs and stuff to go to, and it gives the reasons a big reason for the cities to grow too. It'll, they'll have construction materials and stuff. Maybe we should build a bridge here. Oh yeah, we could build like a little canyon. Oh wow. Thank you, uh, P. McCallahan. Thank you very much for the five. I want to build like a... Oh, there we go. There we go. They let me build a little bridge. Yeah, cool. That's what I wanted. Oh, this will look nice. Kind of a dangerous turn, isn't it? Oof. That's, that's a deadly turn right there. Yeah, that's a little better. Maybe we can make it go underneath. Oh, I certainly do like doing that. Now we'll zip back this way instead. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry, for another five. That's good to hear, my man. Wow, this road's going to be... Jeez, this almost should be a highway, but... Oh, you can do 100 on a large county road. Two lanes seems unnecessary, though. I guess I could build a road going down this way. Jerry says thank you, Dan, for being a good friend. The members of Raptoria are awesome. Jerry loves being here, for in night. Thank you, Jerry. Glad to have your support. Okay, I think we'll just make a road like that for the industries. Well, we could also connect this industry up. I was thinking about going to the highway, but we could just go this way. Oh, we could also put a lumber mill around here, too. There's a hell of a lot of trees. And I like the idea of starting all the raw materials south and having everything go north. That's kind of cool. What's up, Wolverine? Yeah, we're going to need to build a uh, lumber mill around here. Try to meet up with this road here. I 
Well, that's cool. So that way people from the city can get to uh, work over there. We could probably build another bridge. And we could build our seaport here. We're going to build like a area for ferries and ships and stuff to load on this side. And we could build a rail line around here somewhere. Hmm. I think what we're going to do is build like a... Well, I could build like a train... I think we'll build our train line out here somewhere. And eh, we'll flatten the land out for that. Oh, I see what we could do. We could probably have like a little train depot here and a line coming down. Something like that. That's cool. So we'll build something to do with the train over here. That's cool. Alright, I think we should do logging too. I'd have I'd love to see logging trucks coming to the highway. That means we should probably do another on ramp for the highway somewhere. I think what we should do is build another T intersection, like maybe here. But where would we put a lumber mill? I think Norfolk needs some love. I think we should do a lumber mill at Norfolk. So we could probably ship stuff north to the highway here. So we could probably do a T intersection here. And then we'll have to do an off some off ramps here for the highway. But we'll probably build the lumber mill outside of town. It's so cool that you get to build, like, multiple cities rather than just one. Yeah, this is cool, Max. This game uh, is, like, a really good stealth city builder. Like, it's more of a transport tycoon game, but there's so much to do for cities. It's nice. Do I have the transport for you? I, yeah. That's why we're playing it this weekend. This game's kind of hard to play more than, like, if you play it once, you, you're kind of obligated to play it a few times. You start thinking about the game all the time, and you're like, oh, man. I want to go play Transport Fever again. All right, I think we should make a intersection here. And we'll do like a T intersection here. T he. All right, we have to upgrade the roads too. I don't know why they don't want a four lane highway on this one. I guess we could have gotten away with the, the two lane instead of the three, but it makes it a lot easier to see. Javier, thanks for the 25, dude. Wow. Thank you. It's the weekend. Have some Dino Nuggies or Wendy's on me, Mr. Raptor. Why, well, certainly... The stream stays as pleasant as it is so far. Certainly already had those Nuggies so far. We might have to go back for a second round. Thank you, Javier. Okay. Oh, we could probably do a roundabout here, maybe? Actually, we could build a city over here. We're going to be adding a lot more cities. Bum, bum. Oh, yeah. The uh, highway building in City Skylines is a little difficult without... Uh, mods really do help a lot of things, especially a, a mod called the Move It mod, where you can put things down, and then later you can uh, kind of slightly scoot them over left or right, and it really helps to build stuff. Like, this game could definitely use a Move It mod, too. Where when you put something down, you can move it later. Because as you can see here, I'm going to have to build like a highway. In a weird way. 
Like we've had to do this before, so let's back it up a little bit. Uh, this one side of the highway always needs a little expansion. Yeah, there's a lot of mods for City Skylines that don't make it um, much different. Like, I like the vanilla game a lot, and I like playing the vanilla game. Now, I want to do things without mods in that game. Because mods are really cool, but it's more challenging to do things without them. So you make creative designs based on limitations. Which is how a lot of designs are made, right? Gravity, budgets, uh, space... Okay, we'll connect things and then rotate the direction. There we go. Oh, right, well, that fixes that bridge. At least the underneath section. Actually, up, up top it looks good, too. We'll just go with on-ramps there. Now we just need to build more on-ramps to connect it. Yeah, Vanilla City Skyline is really cool. Like, it's, it's amazing how with, like... It, it's cool because there's some techniques you can do to kind of, like, make it, like, modded. There's a couple of tricks and, like, hacks, as you will, to, like, get certain designs to work. It's really cool. I think we should build a city over here somewhere. Maybe here, and then maybe another one here. City here, city here. Oh look, this city already built a roadway under here. Nice. Sometimes these cities grow and they'll expand the roadways a little bit. That's pretty cool, I guess. Do a little roundabout there. I used to live in the middle of nowhere in Africa with no internet connection. I had to download all the games onto my laptop before I went. What would be your desert island games? Oh, wow. Um, probably this and city skylines and hmm some other story games I suppose like uh, Ghost of Tsushima I'll play that again ooh this thing is sunken down in the ground Hydronier, of course, available now. Uh, I don't know. Well, if I was going to be alone, it'll have to be games that either... I can pl start... O uh, starting over a lot. So, like, Park Architect, Planet Coaster, City Skylines, like, where it's, it's fun to start over time and time again. Sometimes it's almost more fun to start a new city than it is just to complete an existing one to see how far you can get before you get bored or before, like, two or three hours pass. I guess because I'm in a city builder mood, I'm just going to say city builders of some sort. Okay, so we can build a city here. So if we're going to build one here, we probably need another off-ramp. All right. I wonder if I made that other roundabout a one way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're all one ways. Bum, bum. Well, we could definitely connect the, uh... 
Oh yeah, the train line can go through here and also connect to the city so we could have a passenger service. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if we can do an on-off ramp here. Oh yeah, this would be a perfect spot. Let's do a highway on and off ramp here. Unfortunately, this game loves, like, it loves using dirt so much in this game. But yeah, if you want to do a bridge, it's got to be, like, super far away. Hey, look at that. But it looks good. But that just takes up a lot of space. But I wanted to have a concrete bridge. That's why the mo move it mod would be awesome here. But we want things to look nice. Almost can build like a roundabout here. Or it'll look like one from space. Well, it's not gonna be perfect, but. Whoa. Whoa. Jerry, whoa. Breaking news. We, heart, raptor, rice a brony forever. Whoa. Well, we better get some uh, rice a roni for Jerry. He's hungry. Got about a, hu a hundo, hundo dollars worth of rice a roni. So, Chad, you better get busy. Jerry's a hungry man. Thanks again, Jerry. Wow. I need to, uh,. Flatten this land out underneath. Or maybe not. Maybe this side of the city can be higher. Yeah, we better ha we better see a rice aroni wall. For about a good, like, two minutes. Damn. Wow. Uh, I wanted to just build bridges. Well, without the move-in mod, I don't think it's going to look perfect, but we will uh, try. Close enough. <laughs> if I could, I'd probably make it a concrete, uh, you know, a concrete road all the way down with barriers and stuff. Probably would look better if we just put barriers. Doesn't all have to be a concrete bridge, but it's good enough, I guess. A lot of American interchanges are like this. I wonder if we could build a main street here, like a... Or like a wider city road we could put down? Now we could upgrade the current street. Oh, no, there's a collision because of the dam. Ugh. Well, it'll have to be a two-lane. That's why those supports are annoying. Like, in order to get rid of that, I'd have to delete these highways and then move the road around. It's fine, I guess. We can just build other roads around it. Alright, we should build a lumber mill over here, though. The trucks can come down here.
Okay, I'm gonna build a... I kinda wanna build this down. Oh yeah, we're gonna build a sunken lumber mill. Oh yeah. When I played a lot of American Truck Simulator, there's a lot of, um... Ro a lot of lumber mills and, like, things that are below, gr like, way below the highway. Like, they're even lower than the main streets. So let's do something like that. Take an inspiration. Oh yeah, we can build it next to water as well. Yeah, we'll build it a little higher. Is that Mario? It's gotta be a copyright. I think the lumber mills are quite large. So we need something to turn logs into lumber. Wow, this has a lot of trees around it. Be cool if there was like an urban or a uh, rural style. I like the ideas of bringing the wood back to the city. I wonder if we could put two of these down. Now yeah, we'll put this truck stop next to it. I think there's a lot, a lot of trees for this thing. This is supposed to just cut things into lumber, but that looks way too small. I want it bigger. I want more. I bet there's mods too, by the way, that gives you different industry building sizes and looks. Like there's probably some that look more industrial. There's a dirt track for the bikes. Yeah. Yeah, all the all the employees like riding the quads on break. All right, chat. You guys can ride the uh, bikes if you want. You guys can bring out your three wheelers, no matter how illegal they are. And instead of a roundabout, I'm just gonna make an intersection here. Also, there's no traffic control in the game. Like, there's no no yield sign, no stop sign, no traffic light. Alright, well that looks cool. Well, chat's riding their bikes, I guess. Dutch breathing intensifies. It's a motorbike though, don't get too excited. Alright, what other industry can we do? Okay, so there's a way up here to turn these. I like this being on the highway. I think we'll try to keep this one. We might move it somewhere else so we can make it look cooler. Alright, well this looks cool. Oh, I want to put water nearby. I feel like they would have water. Because it'll also look maybe like a paper plant too. They usually have a lot of water near them. There we go. There we go. You travel by Brontosaurus. Does that get good gas mileage? Or that should run on fossil fuel, right? Don't be mad, chat. You know what you come here for. pretty good. Let's paint the ground so it looks different. Mm. Let's make it look like a concrete holding to in. Yeah, I don't like that either. Gravel?
Oh, that looks good. Okay, well that looks somewhat industrial for whatever reason. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I do sometimes, Alloy. It's very rare, but usually I just go beforehand. Okay, we need to straighten this road out. Is that better? No, that still looks a little off. I guess it doesn't have to be perfect either. I, I feel like if it doesn't look perfect, it looks more realistic, honestly. Because since we're not really... We're building cities, and we're building inside of them, but we're kind of not at the same time. That's better. I think we'll keep that. That looks good. Okay. Oh, I don't know if we're going to have room to build a truck stop here. We could build it around the back of the facility. Let's see if we can build a road on the side. Looks like we can build a road all the way up here. build truck stops back there, maybe. Well, that's cool how that cuts kitty corner like that. We're going to make this area look more industrial. However, the problem is this facility has trees all around it, so it's hard to make this look like an urban area. Um, if we go a little further, we'll be all right. Oh, uh, everything's got to be flattened, though. Nope. Ooh, we could make a loop around this place. I don't know why we have the water, but we'll just say it's for the lumber mill to also make paper. I guess. Oh, we could make this a one-way all the way through. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put our truck stop over here. And I'll put, like, truck depot over there. I really want to be able to make, like, empty lots. Actually. Wow, even these bridges don't look like real. Okay, well, I guess we've make it, making a build, building a uh, impromptu lumber mill. 
Yeah, this is cool. You can also do this in City Skylines, too, where you can build, like, really cool industrial facilities. It really makes it so that way you can dedicate a massive amount of the city's space to making money. Uh, without it being, like, in, like just random industrial. Okay. That's cool. Then we can build a truck stop there. Or a truck... What do they call it? Well, unfortunately, I don't think we can make county roads one way. But we can build a highway, so that'll do. Oh, that'll work. It's a pool party. You guys want to go in there and swim? Yeah. Some of you are going to come out with uh, magic powers, I suspect, so that I'll have to charge you double if you become an X-Man. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, well, we can say we've used the uh, two-lane highways, too. Nice. That's cool. Jerry says Morgan is here, but you didn't expect that one. Yeah, Morgan's cool, too. I guess. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, here comes the winner you you should place. Uh, let's see. I like how this facility looks. I'll have to put something out here now. Jerry says Morgan is here. Bet you didn't expect that one. Thank you, Morgan, for being cool. Fork and knife. Fork and knife. Uh, typical Ragnarok, thanks for the 20, dude. And Jerry, thanks again for the support, dude. Jerry's, a, Jerry's got that big win. That top support. Awesome. All right, we'll leave this open space for later, and we can put some trucks and stuff here. So cool. So no fork has a lumber mill at it. So we'll probably ship the trees from down here. I like the idea of doing lumber trucks. But we could also do a train. But I think the train would be cooler for iron ore and coal. And oil. Yeah, so the train can tr haul iron ore. Uh, oil. And then maybe coal from over here. We need to figure out where to put a steel mill, though. Oh, we could load all the stuff onto a uh, a boat. Oh yeah, we were gonna build a city here too for the oil industry. I think I want to change what this main city requires. Like, I like the idea of building stuff here. So we could assume that if, if Timmy's Bud is getting... If it has a food factory in it and a building's commercial plant in it, maybe we don't have to have the goods delivered here. We could just pretend that they're already delivered. Yeah, 
Okay, I think we should do a lumber mill. Let's, or I mean a logging site. Let's put down a logging site. Hi there, Parallax. Ah, oh, but we should build it deep in the forest. I really want to build it in a mountain, but I think we should just build it over here. Simple and easy. Like clicking and tapping join and becoming a member. What's up, Yahai? Uh, stay tuned, car care for the five, dude. For my cover charge for the pool, expect to come out as a raptor goon. Like in Mario Brothers movie. Lol. Wow. What a reference. I think I've only seen that movie once. I'm gonna have to go back and see if it's uh, as bad as everyone remembers. Another one. Thank you, Ragnarok. Okay, well that looks nice. I don't think this has to be overly complicated, really. In fact, I like the idea of more of the road being just standard. Just some small country road. Nah, it should be like that, yeah. But we'll leave this section. And we'll have to build a truck deep over here sometime later. Is this a Steam game? It certainly is. So we need this road to connect to the city that I'm going to build here so we can ship it up to... I want to be able to go onto the highway. Just a short distance. Yes, you did, Jerry. Yes, you did. The Yahai. Did Jerry just see Yahoo eat? Wow, fork and knife. I wonder if we can go back that way. Yeah, we're building the next Bin Tires map. It's going to look like that, isn't it? There's going to be a train line here, so I want to try to... Maybe we could go over the top, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, maybe like that, yeah. It's very steep, but it looks good. Not any excuse to build another bridge, I'm down. There we go. Ah. Ah, that's good enough, I guess. We may not see a lot of traffic out there if we build it for the train. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. 
Is this Billy? Is this Billy song? Hmm. Uh oh. I hope everyone in chat is on a diet. I see some pasta. Also, these roads should go through, maybe. Where am I going to put a truck depot, though? Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll have to put a train depot nearby. And it's going to have to connect. Yep, the coal's going to have to go by train. over there for it then. Alright, I'm just figuring out where we're going to put all of our truck depots. We're trying to make them look a part of the same facility. Oh yeah, chat, remember when it's slow, member's goal is to try to sneak in a nine-parter emote. Non-member's goal is to try to stop them by being chatty enough to where they can't do that. That's the goal of every stream now, that's the meta. Should be able to do it before chat reaches 300 likes. There's no possible way chat can achieve such a monumentous milestone in such time. Oh, this coal mine looks cool. I guess. Okay, so train for the oil, train for the ore, train for the coal. Where's it going to bring it then? We're going to build a city here to do fuel. we got to do an iron ore. Iron uh, steel mill somewhere. Hmm. Is this chicken EDM? Yes. This is all about dino nuggets. Okay, we need to build a fuel refinery. But I want to do the steel mill first. Norfolk processes lumber. I want to do another town for steel. Maybe we should have it on this side. Because oil's going to have to cross. Iron ore and coal can go this way. Something up here. Ooh. That's pretty. Build a city over here then. But near the river... Ooh, then it's going to need its own highway connection. Who's the best streamer in the world, Booster? Yeah, that's pretty close. He's almost like me. Hmm. Yeah, that's right, I'm... I'm the num yeah, number one. I'm the top. The top ramen, yep. I want to do something here. Going up there, like a highway. I feel like all the cities need to be connected via highway or be very close to a highway. I play every game you like? That's good. I like every game I play. Some are better than others, but... Overall, they're pretty fun. Well, I think we should straighten this out and make a road, but let's figure out where we're going to build a town. we got to start building, like, plopping down towns, so that way we can put industries near them.
These cities are going to be kind of close. We put a refinery here. We should put a plastics factory nearby, too. And then a goods factory, too. And every city should be responsible for developing, like, at least two things. Oh, there's a refinery here. Oh, okay, yeah, because we want the train to go into Timmy's, bud. And we want a train coming out and going to another city, too. Yep. Okay, so this allows us to transport the oil north. So instead of doing that... Okay, so Timmy's Bud has a food factory, oil refinery, and a buildings thing. I don't want any more industries there. So let's do a uh, plastics plant here. And then we'll need a goods factory, too. Oh, actually, that's great. If we put a plastics factory up here... If we put a plastics factory in a steel mill, then we can ship all the stuff up there to make goods. Excellent. Right, let's do that. Good job, chat. We did it. Yeah. Oh, Doc, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate it. Why does we need gather no moss, or else it gets the hose again? Look at this chemical factory. Why does it have this like area here with just trees? It seems kind of unnecessary, doesn't it? I want to build this out on a pier, though. So let's build a little harbor now. Let's make a nice square harbor. Easiest way to do that is to square things up. We're reverse 3D printing now. This is better than City Skylines? Well, it's a much different game. I, I say that this is a very underrated city builder because there's a lot of great campaigns in it, but if you go into sandbox mode, there's so much you can do in terms of like building not only just a city, but you can build like multiple big cities and connect them. And so instead of trying to build your city as big as you can, you just build a few cities and um, you can connect them via like international or intercontinental highways and railroads and stuff. Cool. Okay, I'm going to try to clear this out. We're going to make a nice harbor here. Yeah, like a region, yeah. It's like you can almost build a state. Like, you can have a city as big as New York City, but then you can do different cities and connect them, like Albany, or, or you could go down the coast of the U.S. and, like, um... You know, do like the Northeast Corridor or something like that. You can connect like New York to like Philadelphia or something like that. You do however you want. Or just make one giant city and then connect it all that way. However you want. You do you, fam. You do you. Okay, then we make our brush size a little bigger now. Eh, 
There we go. Tom, thanks for becoming a raptor hatchling, dude. Welcome. I think we can build our um, our chemical factory like out here and make it look cool. Build a dock somehow to connect it. Oh, we could put it in this corner here. That might look alright. Hmm. I don't know what else I might put here though. We could we could put another generic harbor here just to collect the food and stuff. We could ship food up up river. What ender? What other industries might we put here? Maybe we could put a tool factory here. Oh yeah, lumber and steel would need to be shipped here too. Oh, that means we could ship steel across the river. Ooh. All right, we'll put chemicals in the steel factory at the harbor. And then we can put another city nearby. So hopefully Nor Norfolk and the other cities will grow up to be quite large. Now we gotta do a flattening around this area here. Luckily, unlike City Skylines, this game doesn't have, like, a limitation where, like, you can only move so much soil at a time. Like, City Skylines wants you to, like, put the dirt somewhere. This game's just like, no, nah, that's cool. You're loving the music? That's good. Thank you. Eh, we gotta square things up here. I feel like we'll... Honestly, these city builders, you're never done in. It's like a beautiful painting. Like, there's so many... Even if we put a thousand hours into this, there's so much more we can come back and fix. It's awesome. Like, you can you can never be done with these games. It's really like, how long do you play it until you kind of get bored and want to do something else within the same game? Alright, let's see. a little bigger. It's coming along, it's coming. Love from Sri Lanka. Well, thanks for watching. I 
All right, well, that looks like a good placeholder, I think. Nice. Big praise to this game for making it easy to make like square edges and stuff. Because then we can paint these all like asphalt and concrete colors and make it look like a pier. Or a harbor of some sort. <sighs> okay. I think they should come out even further, but then again, the, the port would be out in the s middle of the river. I'm on a roll. I'll take a sip in a second here. There we go. Because the ships can pull up like that. Yeah, how does the chemical plant look? put it over here yeah, we can actually put docks on the side too and a dock here perfect it's a beautiful day here in Colorado awesome where's everybody watching from what's the weather like where you're from cloudy rainy Is it snowing anywhere I think Canada's entered their fourth winter now Canadians return to their caves for a long slumber. Ah, yes, the ways of ancient Canadians. Sunny in New York City? Oh, that's good. Nice sunny day, cloudy day. California, it's hot? Yeah, I would imagine. I can imagine it's warm. 57 there in Toronto, bud? Okay. Cloudy and warm. Ooh, that's a weird combo. I like a little breezy, rainy day. Oh, is this... Is there something wrong with this? Oh, no, it's fine. <clears throat> Back to industries. Oh, I gotta bring this down a little bit further. Okay, we gotta make a road. Uh, did I subscribe to Mr. Beast? Nah, the videos are kind of like the same thing for me every time. It's not that he's bad or anything, I just kind of prefer to watch other things, but it's cool. The real question is, has he subbed to me yet? He probably should, I guess. Okay, now we can connect these two. Thank God someone said the truth about Mr. Beast. It's not like he's like exposed or anything by me saying that. It's just kind of the same thing. Typically, those videos work because those, if you do large giveaways and such like that, you can use that as a charitable tax write-off, and so it, it's not that he's giving anything away, it's that all the money that he makes, he's going to owe the government. So instead of owing the government, he can give it away to charity, which is part of a marketing fee, and he can basically pay zero in taxes. He'll have to spend that money no matter what, so he has a choice. Mr. Beast, do you want to give $4 million to the government, or do you want to spend $4 million on making videos and use it as a business expense? Kind of a no-brainer. Like, you have to do it that way. That's how the tax code works.
All right, well, that looks pretty sweet, I guess. I just wish we could get rid of these damn trees. It looks too nice. I want it to look, you know, different. Yeah, no, he's 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 playing by the rules. Those are the rules. He's playing by them. That's fine. Now we can put the road a little bit over here. put a truck stop here then that way the trucks can come and pick it up is this is a county road yep now the county roads look like good factory roads city roads look a little more mm, that actually looks good for yeah that looks good for a factory road Or this. That looks fine, I guess. Then we can build a, a dock here. Then we need to extend here. So we need to build a dock on the other side of the street. Oh, this is making me want to go back and play Park Attack again. That game is severely underrated. It's so cool. Such a good multiplayer building game. I love it. Oh, you had a freeze last night in Ohio? Oh, did you go to Dairy Queen? A brain freeze? Okay, well this looks cool. This is a nice little harbor, I think, for multi-cargo. And we should be able to connect to a city up here. put down some cities later though and we just need to put a steel mill on this side Ooh, this means machines could be shipped out via boat though ah so we could we could ship machine parts back down to Timmy's bud we gotta come up with names for other cities Your Dairy Queen had a truck go through it? Oh man, did somebody like plow into the side of the building? Every time that happens, everybody has to make the drive through joke. Like, oh, they have a drive through This gravel almost looks like concrete. Well, we can paint later. Plus, it's going to look really weird building like a, gra a gravel like area for the trees. Why is there even trees? I don't get it. Like, there's li This facility owns this property, but there's like nothing there that you can do. Like, I don't think you can... Oh, there you... Oh, never mind. That's what changes it. That's why they own that property. Okay. It's based off the production level. Oh, I see. Okay. That's why they own that. 
Well, then we'll turn all the production levels to max. So everything looks cool. Well, that's cool. Then these factories don't get any bigger. They just use the space they already have. That's nice. This means we're going to have to supply these guys with a hell of a lot of stuff. This means we'll need extra stone mines and stuff. Oh boy. But I don't know if like, if production one, oh, production 400, and this is production 400. I don't know. We might have to do multiple industries. Insufficient like alert? Okay, well, we'll turn that on until chat gets to 5,000 likes. Okay. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be turned off soon. Let's see. Okay, um, I think we upgraded all the factories that we wanted to use so far. We need to do a fuel refinery. That's another reason to have the fuel brought up here. Not only just the chemical plant. Oh man, we're going to be transporting a lot of fuel up here. A new member. Uh, Blacktooth Grim, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome. I think this might be too much industry, but actually we're going to have two cities here, so I think that'll work out. I think that'll be okay. I think we'll put it over here. Uh, we got to put a truck stop nearby, though. But I think if we put a giant truck stop there, it should accommodate for everything. But we'll have to build a few of them because... Yeah, this place is huge. What the hell is this song? Oh, this is me singing uh, to the McRib. Yes, this is my, my personalized song to the McDonald's McRib. There's actually traffic lights here. Huh. Maybe county roads or country roads don't have those, but city roads do. Chat, don't lie. You know you love the McRib. Oops, wrong button. Hi from Iowa. Well, hello. The McFeast? Was that like a breakfast item? Alright, so this can turn things into fuel, this can turn things into plastics. Oh yeah, that looks more industrial. Hell yeah, brother. I 
That's a quarter pounder with lettuce and loads of sauce. That's what you that's what you like. Ooh. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, so we need a goods factory. I want to try to get every industry eventually. Is there a way to make the tools factory require not wood but steel? Is there anybody in Germany in the chat? I don't know. Germans? Where are you at, Germans? What you guys doing? What's up, Germany? How you doing? Is this the country road? Yeah, okay. Whenever I say country road, I think a country time lemonade. Switzerland? Oh, bro, I gotta go to Switzerland. And Austria? Oh, man. I gotta go visit. Ah. <sighs> Oh, this is looking cool. We might need to extend the land a little bit, but I think it'll work out. I think we're going to expand it just a little bit. Hi from Berlin. There you go. I had some fun in Berlin with uh, the... Uh, there's a game called The Bus, and it's out now on Steam. And soon it'll allow you to like do bus routes in a lot of major cities in Europe. But they started with Berlin, and man... That game was hilarious. It's like not finished, so there's a lot of glitches and stuff, but it's a lot of fun too and looks gorgeous, so. I've been to a few places in Berlin digitally. Wow. Well, it looks fine. That's weird. Oh, that must be because of the edge of the factory. Okay. Well, let's fix this. Destination unknown? Oh man. That makes me miss parts unknown with Anthony Bourdain. That dude was a damn champion. This looks cool. Okay. There's only two duchies over here? Aw. Well, Thurston and Booster must be asleep. Those are the other two. I think there's only like four people in the Netherlands. Maybe five. I think I may have seen a fifth person at a uh, bus stop once. Oh, uh, where are the cars in this game? I see nothing. Oh, uh, we're in the map edit mode right now. So basically we're like, we've generated this map and now we're like customizing it. And so I'm custom building cities on where I want them to be. So we haven't even really gotten into like the city building yet, but we are building industries and roads and uh, seaports and stuff. And eventually we could start building airports and things too. So, and the game is paused. So I imagine that there's probably not gonna be any car traffic at the moment. The game also considers it to be 1850 until I make a change to it. So there might just be horse and buggies. Okay, I want to build another city soon. I think we're done on, like, major terraforming. So, here, plas... Okay, so... Lumber can come from here. Steel can come from across the river. So we need to make a, bi a beautiful river. A uh, bridge. A big bridge across the river. In fact, we can make it here and build another city there. So we could have a city here, city here, city here. Oh, that's going to be perfect. You like the airports the best? The airports are so cool. This map's probably not going to be good for airports because it's not as far. Like, we could probably have an air service from here to there. But there are some maps where it's like... I think there was there's some maps where it's like literally almost all of China or like um, like all of a large country like Germany or something. And you can set up plane and train routes 
to kind of compete with each other where it's like you can do a lot of freight and mix cargo via train and then everyone else can take flights. Pretty cool. All right, let's see. All right, let's build a big old bridge. Oh, the earnings? Well, that's just how many members chat is short. Oh, we're very close to a million subs, too, by the way. We're, uh... We're almost a fourth of the way there. It sounds like a long way to go, but we're getting closer. So thanks to everybody subbing. Give me a one in chat if you're a lovely subscriber of our community. Uh, this music is just some... Uh, there's a website that we use called Pretzel. A lot of streamers use. So it's music that you can find on Pretzel. Which, by the way, uh, the word pretzel is German for uh, pretzel. If you guys didn't know. We're going to build a beautiful bridge here. What I think what I want to do is like have some sort of a circular ramp going up to it. Oh, we're going to do some interesting stuff here, folks. Let's make a very complicated bridge. This is going to be cool. But I do need to leave this space for a harbor. We should probably scoot it over a little bit. So maybe... Oh, and just as an FYI, I know I forgot to drop the key for Evil Genius 2, because I was dropping keys for other stuff, so after this stream, Evil Genius 2 key on the Discord. So members, be ready. Good luck to you. You learned your English from the from Chappelle show? Oh, that's cool. I know a lot of people who learn languages through uh, video games and uh, through TV and stuff. Bum, 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 bum. And after this stream, I also have a new building game to show you guys, which I think you'll like. You guys ever watch those bushcraft videos where people build like houses out of sticks and stones or out of mud? Okay, we need to build a fake bridge to find out what the elevation needs to be. So it needs to be that high. Yeah, if you've seen those videos before, it'll, it essentially lets you build houses from mud and stick and stone. It's it's like a bushcraft home building game. It's pretty cool. What's up, Patrick? Okay, that makes the road even with the other side. If we build it further away from the uh, edge, too, we can actually build, like, a road by the coast that can go under it. Let's do that.
All right, let's see how this works. Guess we'll build an extra large road here. Ah, cool. And I think boats can fit under that. Pretty sure. All right, now we just got to build it somewhere where it's going to look real nice. Mm, yep, Star Citizen. We'll go back to that. Yep. What is this option? Oh. Main connections, clear default, keep existing streets. Oh, you can make, you can auto-generate roads. Oh, the game will actually build roads for you. Wow. That's cool. So if you build two major cities and want it to just build a highway real quick, you can just tell it to build a highway. That's neat, I guess. Well, that looks great. That's fantastic. Let's go with that. Yeah, you can't like name bridges or change them in any way. Maybe we can't build toll booths or anything. Oh well. Nice. Oh, look at that. We can build a bridge under the... Under the, uh... Or a road under the bridge. Nice. Nice. We could also expand the coast pretty easily, too. Oh, that's so awesome. Love that. I love that we're allowed to do that. coming this way. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities in this game. Many different types of designs and things we can do, for sure. I guess this game doesn't do traffic like City Skylines, so I guess this is just good enough for now. Really wish it was just easier to make highways next to each other like that. Did we get EPA approval for the dredging? We are the EPA. Good. the idea of having that big cliff there.
Should be a bigger city road now, though. Ah, oh, but city roads have trees, which is weird. They also have street lights. Is there a way to, like, build them without the trees? Ah, it's not a big deal. Cool. Well, this is a good spot to build the city here on the other side of the trees. We'll build like this. Uh, you could use the country roads. They're more like hi highway-like. Yeah. You're using a lot of those. Like, that's that's good. Those look like that. But I also want the street lights. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I don't like the fire hydrant and the... Mm. Yeah, that'll do. But they're so bland. There's no, like, there's no highway lights on them at all. It would be nice if this game had a day-night cycle where you could see the different colored lights like City Skylines has. I'm sure there's mods for it. I'm sure. Hi, Pinto. Look, chat, we have a Pinto Bless. Quick, he doesn't come to every live stream, so make your wish quick. Put three Pinto Blesses in chat. Close your eyes and make your wish, and maybe Pinto will make it come true. But don't tell him your wish, otherwise it won't come true. That's how it works. I feel like we should just do a highway here. But we also need a lot of the truck traffic to be able to get on there. Cool th thing is, is that we'll eventually be competing with, like, local traffic. We'll have, like, traffic for our deliveries, but also, like, people will try to get to the other side, like, drive their car to the other city, because they can. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if... The, well, there's got to be mods for all the roads that change their appearance. What if there's a way to make, like, a nice roadway like that? Mm, we could do an on and off ramp. Like, I could do a one way. Yeah, the clover leaves in this game are a little better for highways. better.
Eh. Looks okay, I guess. We're kind of limited by the game sometimes too. It really, this game really likes to build uh, dirt mounds instead of building uh, on ramps, which is fine. Bah, 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 bah. You saw the secret uh, Wendy stream? Oh yeah. Might have to delete that one. That way it has exclusivity. Yes. Yes. Oh, looks cool. There, I like that. And then we'll just add a bunch of trees. Hmm, now we also need a train to get to one of the sides too. Oh, I think our train will go across there. I don't know if we'll have a train go over this way at all. So we've got a lot of industries here. Like we've got a lumber mill, and we've got a plastics factory, a machine shop, and a, a fuel refinery, so that's crazy. Let's build a main road for the city. The cool thing is we can always use the upgrade tool to change roads if we want. You subscribed and turned on the notification bell? Excellent. Good. Yeah, all part of my evil plan to do game giveaways and hang out with people and play games. city here and then connect a little county road between the two. Like a little mini highway. Diabolical? Yeah, I know. Ah, it's my evil plan to like get a channel that has a million subscribers, uh, do a bunch of game giveaways and hang out, stream with people. You know, pure evil. nice, I guess. Where's the Dave Thomas Memorial Highway? We, we could call this the Dave Thomas Memorial Highway, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we want to build some more industries. What else? We could build more stone mines. I think we might need to bring more materials to those things. I'm not sure. Farm, food processing plant is done. We need a tools factory. Oh, yeah, we need a steel mill, too. Mm hmm. Which would be cool to bring the river into. I'm going to build a steel mill here. How do I uh, make it go lower?
Oh, I think that might be too low. Hmm. Oops. Okay, I think we'll build our steel mill here. Yeah, we're gonna have the railway uh, deliver coal and iron ore to the steel mill. So if we build it over here, it'll be perfect for the railway. I think we should do a diesel electrical railway. I think we also went with American trains, but oh, I think there's actually a way where you can select and go with like all, so that way you can get access to every train. And I think that's way better. Like sometimes you might want to do like a Japanese high-speed trail train line, and then do like a German regional train or something. It's cool to mix stuff. Well, let's build the steel mill right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this the Okay, cool So that's why they have stuff behind them So if we build our town here, we can have the steel mill kind of out of the way. The rail yard. Yep, that's a steel mill. Well, I think I wanted to do like a circular... Alright, I think we should do that here. Yeah, we won't be able to build a railway until we go into the full game mode, but we we have plans to build a railway. We will we will be building a railway. building a lot of stuff with a railway in mind. I wish we could build it in this mode, but I guess no. Well, that's cool. Very Japanese style here to build a highway that kind of like curves around like that. Although this is not as round as I would like, I wish we could go a little more curvy this way, but the more we mess with it, the worse it's going to look. Is this a kid? Is this Billy? That looks cool, though. Yeah, it looks good. I wanted something a little out of the ordinary. This looks great, though, with all the trees like this. This is cool. I like it. We can build our uh, city near here. I build like a 90 degree turn. I guess that's as close as it's gonna get. Alright, so we can build a city there and then a road to the steel mill, and then we'll have some heavier rail lines out there. And we're also gonna be transporting a lot of the oil by rail, too. We could also build a train line to bring things up here as well. It'd be a good idea to have a rail line at the port. Because some of these things could be shipped out. Not everything has to come in. We could ship uh, all the oil here via train. And then we could ship some of the plastic out via boat. Maybe we can widen the river a little bit.
You're a big fan from India? Well, thanks for watching. A lot of people from India watch now. That's cool. They're very smart. They're always turning on the notification bell. They've got that subscription smashed. And they never miss an opportunity to smash like. That's true. All right. Let's see. So we'll, le we'll leave this road like this, so that way we can put a rail line here and we'll build a road later. What's up, Kruda? How you doing? We'll finish that road later. We gotta give room for this city to expand. Could probably build a small city over here. Or maybe do another, no, another farm, maybe? Uh, I don't think there's any ranches, though. That's a shame. Okay, if we have a goods factory, goods require what? Steel and wood? Steel and plastic, okay. I want to keep our tools factory where it is. It just requires lumber. That's really easy for the trucks just to drive up here for. I like where this is. I want this to stay here. Like part of Topeka, yeah. The Topeka Tools Factory is really cool. Now we just gotta build like an interchange to get over here. Let's build more onto the highway. Well, I guess we'll just build our highway roundabout thingy. Hi, you love me? Well, thank you. I, lo I love me, too. We have so much in common. And I think we should build the interchange back here. at an angle a little bit, but I'm okay with it. Alright, first thing we gotta do is fix that road on the left. That always gives us trouble. Too bad there's not a way to save, like, blueprints. one that always gets us. Yeah. <laughs> they want us to build a tunnel like that? Lol. Uh, some game rules are so funny. We're close. We're close to having it done.
cutting too much on the left side. flat but there needs to be a bend in the middle otherwise it's gonna go crazy oh there we go we got it there we go okay oh really we should have that How is this okay? But this is a no can do. This is real life. This is how things are in real life. It's like, hey, how about we solve the problem? No, no. Hey, how about we go around it in a way that, uh, you know, it's really a gray shaded area that gives us control to do whatever we want and say and make it really vague? Okay. <laughs> like, hmm. Well, it's our greatest challenge yet. Oh, there we go. Let's build it right. No. Okay, that's about as good as it's going to get, I think, right there. Right about there. All right, that's that's better. That that works. Looks like the highway gets a little bumpy. Or is that just the other? Uh, that seems okay. I don't want to fiddle with it anymore. God, I almost died. Okay, let's just build a county road here. Thank you guys for becoming new members. That was a member renewal. Thank you. Oh. You and your brother are cleaning your rooms while watching. That's cool. That's pretty cool, I guess. Actually, kind of cool that that went into the mountain like that. Actually, allows us to build maybe like another city here. We could compete with Topeka and build another city. What do the highlighted red and blue roads mean? Um. Oh, this the those the red means that these are roads other than the one that I have selected. So right now, anything blue is a medium country road. So we we can't upgrade anything in blue because it's already that road type. But if we wanted to change the highway to medium country road, then we just click like that, and then it becomes blue. And then we can change it back to highway if we want to. Oh, uh, this is kind of sandbox mode. This is actually the editor, so I'm putting down industries and stuff. You can only do that in the editor. 
And then we'll go into like an actual city building soon where we're going to be building railroads and bus roads or bus routes on and probably more roads. But this mode's the easiest in order to build the industries. Because I don't think you can do that in the other modes. build a truck stop there or whatever. That's going to be kind of a cool way to get logs up there, lumber. We'll actually have our, our highway used. Trucks will have to come out, go onto the highway, and then come back. And then maybe we can do some local tool deliveries to Topeka. And Norfolk as well. Or actually have Timmy's Bud require tools. Let's do that. We'll set these up now. Where Timmy's bud will require tools and machines. And then Norfolk will require food from Timmy's bud and also maybe construction materials. Or goods. Or we can make more cities too. We just need to take care of the industries who are making everything and then we can decide where we want to ship it. We're essentially building like a diorama. Or like a, a, a model train layout. But with also planes and trains. Or planes and roads. And we'll do another city here. Okay, let's save here. I'm going to start putting down cities and see how that goes. It actually automatically builds the city. Right, I think I owe a sip. Oh, is that a modern looking city? Oh yeah, that looks modern. So, some of these other cities are like from the 1800s. Like as you can see, this city looks like it's built in the 1850s or whatever. Okay, so this will be our steel mill city. We need names for new cities too. We gotta, we're going to have to start naming these soon. Also, is there not a way you can control the size of the city? Oh, yeah, there is. Can I delete the city? Now we're going to have to na build some of these cities bigger. But then again, it is we're playing this like a city builder, so the cities will grow when we start delivering things, and they'll kind of build themselves. So starting small is not bad. Gives us room to advance. Oh, and Tan with the kill. Chat couldn't stop her. We're going to start getting nine, pa nine parters in. I'll do a little tiny city here. Oh, look, it's Pinto's city. That's still too long, too far. Okay, 
gonna be like a bonsai tree. I'm gonna keep clipping the city and making it smaller. All right, so this will supply our oil wells. This will be our oil industry city, and maybe uh, also the uh, iron ore and uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of industries could be there. But Timmy's butt isn't too far. People just gotta drive a little bit. Now where else do we want another city? Here. I feel like we should have a little town over here for the food processing area. We'll build a little, little town over here. This is cool because then we can have uh, we can have like food delivered over here from the Timmy's bud. Yeah, we want a railway. We will do a railway at some point. We're just not able to do it in this mode. But a lot of these cities that are close, like for example, to deliver stuff here, it's a very short drive, so it's better for us to do a uh, truck than it is a train. Soon, soon. Alright, so now we're literally building cities. So let's have Spokane. Pick food. And tools. Oh, construction materials maybe? No. We'll do fuel. Nice. So we can have some like shorter local deliveries on these county roads. And we'll smooth it all out and make it look nice. I don't want everything to be a highway. What else can Norfolk take other than fuel? Construction materials? Yeah. And then Durham can take I like the idea of machines. Well, well, yeah, I suppose, because then it's something to bring across the bridge. And we'll do goods, too, and we'll ship them down here via boat. We'll ship the goods here, and then we'll bring them down. We'll bring them down that way. Boy, we got a lot of progress made today so far. This is good. Things are going really well. Ah, some of you are following me on tw Twitter. Good. Be doing some game giveaways today on the Discord, and probably on Twitter sometime soon too. So make sure you follow. All right, we don't want this lumber mill anymore. We don't want this logging site anymore. We'll have to put some random cities here. Maybe we can try to do a high-speed rail line or something through here. Because we're going to have all of our... Most of our railroad will probably be on the left side. That'll be kind of cool. I guess. Okay, quarry. Norfolk is making lumber. That's good. We can do logging trucks. And lumber can be brought there. And there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it can all the lumber can all be on trucks. That's cool. That'll give us a reason to have big semis that aren't just a box trailer. 
much more interesting to look at. Topeka can require... Yeah, I like the tools, and I like... Tools and maybe... Machine parts, maybe? Yeah, that's cool. Mm. More goods. Okay. And then let's do more tools. Ah, construction materials would be interesting. That'd be a long way to ship that, which means we'd have to have a railroad up there. So let's do that. We gotta put our goods factory somewhere else. Closer to Topeka. Hmm. Actually, it would be nice to have Topeka connected via a uh, T intersection. Yeah, essentially building in this is like a model railroad. Like, we could get super complicated and add things later if we want. Remember rice aroni is nice? Yes, rice is nice. That's uh, correct. Wow, this city's really going to be in the backwoods. Wow. All right, we'll connect Topeka to the highway system. Hopefully building the last of our highway connections. I feel like I want to build some cities out here that are just going to be connected via county roads. So that way we don't have to build a big highway there and we can just say everything's connected via rail or county road. So they won't need as heavy highway system connected to it. Back to the roundabouts. Oh boy, the nightmare begins again. May, may Pinto bless us. Best YouTuber on YouTube? Well, thanks. Wait a minute, what does this do? Oh, bus. Oh, this adds tram and bus lanes. I forgot we could do that. Well, that means in some of these bigger cities, we can actually build like an inner city bus service. Oh, I feel like we should build one big city. We could probably do that at Timmy's Bud. That'll allow us to customize it more. I feel like I want to plop one more... I want to plop one big, big city, but... I think that's going to have to be Timmy's Bud, and I, I think we're just going to have to grow it. I mean, we can, we can add all the bus lines and stuff later. And these cities will grow really fast because we've taken care of a lot of the connections to them. Nashville, Timmy's Bud can be connected by bus, and same with Spokane, and then... Norfolk can come down. They can all feed into the highway system. That's crazy. All right, yep, Pinto Bless. Here we go. Get ready. Did I reconnect that other one with the off-ramps? Oh, I never deleted them. Nice. Yeah, there's a little clunk to building highways in this game, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Sometimes I even get more frustrated by City Skylines than any other game for highways. Okay, and what we've learned is that we can just put the highway closer to the dirt on ramps and we're okay.
It's going to be a little picky with us, but we can get it right. Pinto bless. Yeah, we could put a big city on the... I feel like a big city is going to need to have the highway going through it. I think what we're going to do is on the left side, we'll put all of our... On the left side, we'll put all of our um, smaller cities that we can connect via rail. Because that'll give the rail more power. We'll see. Luckily, we won't have to worry about money, so it's not like we have to do anything profitable. It just has to be pretty. From profitable to pretty. The crazy dinosaur man story. Ah, that's good enough. Any more will... Spend a lifetime modifying that. But again, most things in this are placeholders, too, because you're not really... Are you really ever done in a city builder? Are you are you really? Answer is no. You want to put a railway between the highway? You mean here? Well, when we do the railway, that'll probably be the last thing we do. And we'll make the railway compete with the highway a bit. The railway is going to be much more important later on. First, we're going to build all the roads and highways. Then we'll do rail, and then we'll fill in all the gaps with more roads. And that should fix everything up. for now. Anything we don't like, we'll always come back and fix. Alright, well, we built a beautiful port. I like that. We've got, like, a heavy water area here. This is nice. Then we'll do a smaller port down here. So we should probably work on our smaller port. Because we are going to ship oil. Oh, no, that's going to be rail line. But we could ship construction materials up the river. And we could ship some oil, too. I guess we could have the train and maybe, like, one boat do the same thing. I want, to I want to try to do a little bit of everything. Because otherwise it gets boring if you just do one thing. Yeah, I, I guess everything we need to deliver is going to be based on the demand of the factories that require it. Most of the deliveries are to factories before they are cities. Uh, the bridges are too low to pass underneath? I don't think so. Usually the game will tell you. I think there's a way to see. Yeah, so green they can pass under. It looks like they can even go under this bridge. Yeah, this one's even lower. They should be able to go through there. It looks like it's small, but that's a lot of space under here. Almost like flying under. They should be able to go under there. We'll try it, and if it doesn't work, we will fix it. All right, let's build another port. I mean, essentially, we're like in map editor mode now, so roads are just kind of like, aside from building the highway and some other um, major roads, we'll be building the roads a lot more later.
Yeah, I think we should do this. And we'll put it all the way to the road. Back it up a little bit. Now we're just playing vanilla at the moment. There are lots of good mods for this game. Alright, so we'll probably end up building our ports mm, probably down here. Let's fix this up a little bit. good. Alright, and then we'll uh, build a little port there and add on to that later. Not too much to do there. So we can ship some of the oil up or construction materials. The problem is construction materials won't be direct because it won't touch the seaport. Yeah, maybe it's close enough. We'll toy with the ships later, though. Or we could just do another seaport on this side. Or like docks right out front. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, cool. Now we can just build like a little port here, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, I'm doing well. I'm glad chat's here. All my rice aroni jabronis are with me. The fellow nerds are in chat with their big brains and their pinto bless. Has anybody gone out and bought rice aroni? I've been mentioning it all the time. They really need to do a paid deal. What do you do during the single player campaign versus free build mode? Uh, it's kind of the same except there's just more specific ob objectives with like voice acting and um, there's voice acting and a lot of uh, like you're doing a lot of historical builds of things that happened in real life like building of hydroelectric dams and um, like oil oil refineries and stuff and like real life historical events and it's cool because you know sometimes you have to do stuff in like the 1800s sometimes it's 1950 The first game's great too. There's even more missions. I'd say get both games because, although this one's a little bit better because there's more features, the original's got a lot of interesting history.
Well, I guess we'll build our seaport there and connect it later. I don't know how good I can make this look. Yeah, we'll build something like that. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Think you should get the likes up to 500? Oh, it's impossible. Chat would never do that. It, it would help the channel to grow and more people would find it. And Don't do it. Don't smash that like button. Don't do it. You don't want this channel to become popular, do you? Ew. <laughs> okay, we've got two cities. Main city there. I think when we go to build our um, train line, we'll probably put a few cities here. And the train is also going to have to connect there to the steel mill. Oh, we forgot to rebuild our goods factory. Maybe I'll put that just up here in town. Goods factory is not too bad. Oh, this song makes me feel like I'm flying through space. Well, hopefully we end up having a lot of trucks on the road. It'll make this look nice and populated. cool. That looks really nice. Hmm. Oh, Chad did it. No, darn it. Oh, they showed their support and now the channel's gonna grow. Darn it. I just want to like load this in and see how it plays out a little bit. But if we, if we start playing it for real, we won't be able to put down cities anymore. I think we're close to like actually starting this as a official like like actually starting to build these cities now. After this, there's not much more to do. Okay, let me go through the industries and make sure we got everything. Farm, yes. Food factory, yes. Stone, yes. Construction, yes. Logs, yes. Lumber, yes. Um, tool factory, yes. Coal, yes. Iron ore. Steel mill, yep. Oil, yep. Refinery, yep. Fuel refinery, yep. Plastics plant, yep. Okay, we got everything. We got one everything. Um, I feel like we need more like iron ore and stone mines, though. But I guess this will be good for now, because some of these cities are quite small, so they might not require a lot of deliveries. Okay, let's save here again. And then we'll start putting down new cities so we can build a rail line next. And we'll start with trains. And then we'll start playing for real, which will then make this a true city builder because we'll be able to start building bus lines and stuff in the cities. It'll be cool. These cities also could require some of these things like goods and construction materials so we can deliver those via train. <gasps> yeah. So we can do a passenger train line and then mixed freight of like goods and construction materials. And then maybe tools or machine parts.
Antioch wants tools. Topeka wants... Maybe we should make Antioch require... Goods? Oh, they won't take goods. I'd like to see if we could get machine shipped up there. Topeka wants fuel, so we could do a fuel line for Topeka. Hmm. Nashville wants food. That's cool. And then fuel, too. Okay. Oh, we can change the industries. Let's build these cities. And now we have our passenger line service. Let's build one here by the river. Oceanside next to the river, of course. Providence. And we want to give them a little bit of room to grow. Then go Timmy's Bud to Oceanside, Providence to Greensboro to Antioch, or we can put another city here. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, there we go. I think it's good. Oh, wait, what is that city called? Sunnyvale. Oh, that's nice. Like the construction materials, like the goods. We'll say that these cities are growing. And that's why they want goods and construction materials. And then we can connect some of them to this, uh, I guess, regional highway here to the main highway. So if you live in Providence, you'd have to take this highway, go across the bridge to the highway here. Or you could take a train. No direct lines, but there you go. All right, let's build some more roads. I like it. Okay. So we'll build a regional highway to connect all these two. And that's what the train will kind of have to compete against. Hey there, Jessica. Gonna have to play Park Architect again soon, I can tell. Alright, speaking of building, I'm gonna be releasing a new video for all of you at the end of the stream, so be ready. You guys will be amongst the first ones to take a first look at a new game. Another building type game, another building like simulator that I think you guys will like. And I will show you soon. Smiley face. It should be pretty cool. Smiley face. Yeah, that's a cool road. And then... Oh, easy. Was meant to be. Hello, Jessica's here. Jerry, like, makes the, like, in-stream announcements. I like it. 
Oh, this is cool. We can actually make a nice bridge. Make a stone bridge. Thanks, Jerry. Wow. Hello. Jessica is here. Fork and knife. I love it. Thank you, Jerry. I love it. All right, I think we should have one road connect to Timmy's bud. And one, well, both will go to Timmy's bud, but one shot, one should go to the food factory, I think. I kind of want to ship food out this way, too. I don't know. It'd be nice to have the regional highways have trucks on it. That one's way out there. This, this city up here is going to have to be connected to, yeah, from the north. Maybe we could do a main highway through here, but... Hmm. The perfect latte? I don't know if we can build that in this game. If we try real hard and if our grades are good enough, then maybe. Too straight forward. There we go. That's better. All right. I think we should build a. Well, maybe we could build an overpass here. It feels like a K-pop song or something. Is this that K-pop the kids are listening to? What is up with this road? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Eh, that's a little high, isn't it? I think that's a little higher than we needed to be. Hmm. I guess it'll be fine. I don't know. That's a little steep. It's a little steep. That's better. Game. Why are you doing this to me? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, I don't really like that road, but we're going to fix that later. This will just be a placeholder and we can fix it when we do things officially. If you guys want to see more, that is, so make sure you smash like. Because I'm totally down to keep on playing this so long as you like it. And I'll have to figure out what I'm playing tonight, too. I want to I wanna do some more simulator games. I got something planned. I got something planned. I think you guys are going to like it. Okay, we could do another... Oh, yeah. Well, no, Antioch, we're going to... We're going to have to build an end to the highway here for Antioch. And then connect Sunnyvale and Greensboro together. 
maybe build a road along the coast here of the uh, river. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, that should probably be a one way. Okay, that'll work. And then we'll just have it swing around with the county road. I think we need another T intersection for Sunnyvale, but we could build a road underneath to go to Antioch. That'd be kind of cool. Let's build a road that goes underneath. It's been a while since we built built a road tunnel. kind of cool. Well, this will allow us to connect these two cities together because I would like to see some more traffic than just on the highway. Yeah, that works. Well, we'll need a T intersection somewhere, but we can't build it into this mountain. That's too permanent there. Can only build it like maybe here. Mm. That's a long extra way to go, but whatever. Means it'll be better for the trains. Okay, let's build a nice bridge for the roads. Oh, that's some bridge. I don't think we'll have any boats come up here, will we? No? Okay. If we need to, though, we can widen the river later. Okay, this looks good. I think we'll have to do one more road up the coast, but we'll do that later. We'll build like a nice little scenic bus line to go up the uh, whole coast, and then there'll be a train line there too. But I don't want everything connected via road. Everything's connected to a road, but not everything's connected to each other via a road. And that also means we could do an aircraft uh, thing at some point. And we can build a little airport over here. Lots of room for that. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. 
You are French? Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So this should be everything good here. Um... Oh, the stream go down for you? Uh, it should be on YouTube server. Because I can still read chat and everything like that. Give me a one in chat if you're still in the chat. It's on YouTube. Just refresh. Actually, just spam the word refresh. And every once in a while, YouTube servers like die and then it comes back and nobody even like can do anything about it. Remember guys, billion dollar company, but nothing they can do. Oh, this looks nice. I feel like we should add a lot more trees now. Is there a way to like do a mass paintbrush? There's gotta be. Oh yeah, there is. Nice. Nice. Oh man. Yeah, you're never done with these types of games. Never are you done with a city builder. And even though this is kind of more of a transportation game, it's cool, and I like it. Seems like a chill game, it is. Yeah, I would highly recommend this one. Not only for the campaign, but also the uh, rebuild mode. And of course, there's a ton of mods for this game. A ton of mods for this game. And it's almost like they're never... It's like City Skylines. Like, they never stop making new ones, you know? There's like a new mod every day. Stone mine at Timmy's butt is looking good. Iron ore mine... Yeah, I think everything's good here. I think it's good. All right. Well, I think it's time we wrap our uh, stream up for today. I'm going to save here, and I'm going to show you guys a brand new uh, building game that I think you'll be interested on the channel. I'm going to drop it right now. I'm going to I'm going to release a new video right now, and you guys can come take a look at it. And I'll uh, leave a link to it, and you guys can go just simply say hi in the comment section of this new video. Get ready, here it comes. I'm gonna drop a link for it, and it should be live now. If it's not live right away, just refresh. There's a new video, ladies and gentlemen, on building. A new building simulator, literally called Building Simulator. While I was looking for a game called Construction Simulator, I was gonna download that again and give that a try. I stumbled upon this game. Later tonight, I'll probably be doing some more um, interesting management games, similar to this one. But in a different style, maybe like Trader Life Sim again or something else. Actually, maybe a factory game from that one. We'll see. But anyway, I'll see you guys later tonight for more streams. Turn on the notification bell and check out that new video, ladies and gentlemen. Click on that link in chat. Don't miss out on the new video. Come say hi, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.